All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Issachar coming back at you with another lesson. First and foremost, I like to give all praises, all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Okakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful lack. All right, in today's lesson, we're going to go into, you know, um, you know, America does not look good, okay? It's not looking good for America right now, all right? And um, before we get into the scriptures, you know, there's, uh, you know, this, uh, the, the financial structure is collapsing, okay? There's great division here. There's uh, going to be a civil war, all right, between the... Uh, you know, between uh, those who are with those who are with the uh, you know the Biden forces, and then um, uh, the other group they have. Okay, so they have uh, you know uh, they have great division here in America. You know, not only that, you know they have problem with the uh, they have problem with their own citizens. They can't control them. You know, people are being transformers. They're cutting off their rods. Men are becoming women. Women are becoming men. You know, uh, people are robbing each other. You know, screwing each other over. You know, there's sleeper cells coming in through the border. There's already sleeper cells here. You see, this this place is totally it's through. It's done. You know, it's done. You know, the Lord is the ultimate chess player. You know, that's why the Lord tells us, uh, you know, uh, Akim and Akwath. You know, that's brothers and sisters. You know, just stay patient, you know, because the Lord, he's really going to destroy our enemies. There's no reason for us to, you know, get carnal, you know, or, you know, do anything, you know, don't get excited. The Lord said, don't worry, just stay patient and uh, stay in the spirit, you know. And, uh, you know, of course, if something happens, you know, if you have to defend yourself, then, you know, by any means, yeah, you got to survive, you know. But that's what but the Lord says, you know, but don't go out there looking for trouble you know, amped up and, you know, trying to cause a fight or nothing like that, you know, don't be carnal, you know, don't be carnal minded, use wisdom because just look around. Okay. Our enemies are through. Okay. They're through, you know, remember time is on our hands, ladies and gentlemen, you know, there's nothing to get, uh, you know, sometimes you may be vexed in the spirit, but our enemies are going down and you can see it. Okay. There's no way out for them. You know, it don't matter. Of course, they're going to, of course, they're going to kick, of course, they're going to, say a few words they're going down they're going to slavery you know they're desperate you know so of course they're going to be upset they have every reason to be upset let them be upset it's all right because they're going down you know just look around okay this place is through okay america is divided against itself sleeper cells coming in through the border you're about to have a major civil war you know just look at uh, biden okay because these leaders remember they sold out uh the american citizens you know because they don't care about the fair the they don't care about you, uh, you know, uh, American citizens, you know, they don't care about the people at all. You know, they, the bankers tell them what to do because this place is a corporation. Just look, okay, just look at how fast uh, Biden is ready to send F-15, F-16 uh, jets to Texas, you know, because, you know, they don't, they don't want, they have a problem at the border crisis. Look how fast, um, the, the U.S. Uh, government president is ready to fight against his own country that fast. You know, I mean, how come they can't have a Zoom meeting, kind of talk this thing out, you know? He's going against his own American people, you know? But yet, look what he's doing for uh, Ukraine and all that, you know? He's there for Ukraine and all them, you know? Uh, he's there for Taiwan. He's there for Israel. But for his own people, look at how fast, you know? There's a little dispute, and right away, he wants to send jets, you know, to destroy his own people. To show you out there, okay, these leaders are not for you. They are puppet leaders that are ran by the bankers. That's just facts right there, okay? It's not just talking emotional. Look at that. That's facts. Because these presidents, you know, Biden and them, they, you know, they jump real fast for Ukraine. They jump real fast for NATO. They jump real fast for Israel. They're there to help them out, okay? But their own problem and their own country, you know, their own fellow citizens, Okay, you have a real a crisis, you know, there's sleeper cells coming through the border, you know, it's a real problem, you know, 
and and what what does President Biden do? He's ready to send jets. They're ready to fight already against their own people to show you. Look at how fast that is. You know how come you know they can't what they can't have a Zoom meeting? They can't have a couple conferences. You see, but yet they want to just fight right away to show you they are ready to uh, establish their NWO, and they're gonna do it out of uh, order, out of chaos. That's just to show you. Look how fast, look how fast they are. You know, to say, all right, we're, we're going to fight our own people, our own citizens. Why? Because they're taking orders from the bankers. Just to show you. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 2, all the way down to the fourth verse. Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. That's Americans versus Americans. All right. And they shall they shall fight everyone against his brother. Because, yeah, you know, even it even goes from uh, not even... Those who, you know, believe in Trump, those believe in Biden, those who are against the New World Order, those who are with the New World Order. Okay, it even goes all the way down to your own household. Okay, because that's how much division is coming here. Because remember, everybody is on that spirit. Do as thou wilt. Okay, well, you can't tell me nothing because I'm always right. You know, because you got atheists out there. You got LGBT crew out there. You got the Transformers out there. You got Catholics. You got Christians. You got Muslims. You know, you got Satanists. You know, you got uh, people who are just into sports, you know, you got people who just just work all damn day, you know, they, you know, you got people who are just into money, you know, you got everybody who are on different vibration. Nobody sees eye to eye. Okay, nobody sees the eye to eye. The only thing keeping this place intact, glue, is that you guys have some money and you guys have snacks and food. You know, you guys got, fr you got, you guys got fridge, uh, food in your fridge. You see, but wait till the uh, wait till the the power's off, you know. Then everyone's gonna show their true colors, you know, because everybody's on a different vibration, you know. The Democrats, Republicans, you know, uh, for the Lord, you know, a uh, Buddhist. Oh, I'm this, I'm that. Everybody's, you know. You go in a neighborhood, every house is different. Oh, what do you believe in? Oh, I believe in this. Okay, well, what do you believe in? Oh, I believe in animals. What do you believe in? Oh, I believe we take out the animals. Well, what do you believe in? You know, it's, everybody's on a different accord. It's going to be a complete war zone out here. Because, yeah, you got few, you know, who are, you know, teaming up. You got few who, you know, agree. But that's a few. But the, just look at the majority of uh, America, you know. And then you got these degenerates out here, you know, who don't do anything all day. You know, who are disrespectful to their parents. You know, they don't even work, you know. Straight up, you know, you got these, uh, you got this new generation who are just disrespectful. You know, straight gremlins, degenerates, you know, you got them out here, you know, acting like total gremlins, you know, they are, uh, you know, they're driving BMWs because they take advantage of their parents and all that stuff. You know, you got all you got everybody out here, you know, you, you got the rugrats out here, you got everybody out here at the same time. And everyone against his neighbor. Yeah, because it's, it's going to come down to that, you know, because some people are going to say, well, I'm for Biden. You know, and, uh, you know, this and that, the New World Order. And some people are going to say, well, no, I'm, I'm for Trump, you know. And, uh, yeah, people are actually, they're going to fight, you know, because it's going to it's gonna get that bad where uh, there's going to be no food. Remember, no, uh, no water, no electricity, no gas. Okay, they are going to shut it off. City against city, that's civil war. And kingdom against kingdom, because uh, that's also uh, World War Three, which we're going to... Uh, you know, touch on that a little bit today as well. But, you know, the main thing is just to show you that America is through, you know. And this is what, you know, these, uh, you know, American patriots, you know, American Bible belts, you know, you got preppers out there in general. They've been seeing this coming, you know. But also who? Who've been saying this? You know, the prophets been telling you that it's coming. And now it's right here at our doorstep, you know. And people are still walking around like, yeah, you know, I'm going to retire. Life is good. No, okay, it's not. It's going to be a complete war zone out here, you know? Life as we know it is going to completely change, okay? It's going to get it's going to get hot out here, you know? It's going to get wild and then some facts, you know? Because look at the signs, they're all here, you know? But that's something I really, uh, you know, uh, the Spirit of the Lord really wanted me to uh, reach out to you guys and just look at how fast, you know, um, you know, uh, Biden, the president, you know, look how fast he jumped, you know, to he was ready to send jets over here uh, to well to Texas, you know, to fight their to fight his own citizens, you know, just because there's a little dispute on the border. You know, why can't they talk it out? You know, say, OK, well, 
you know, let's let's talk this out. You know, you're our, you know, you're our people. You know, you know, you're our fellow countrymen, right? You know, but look, you know that, but look at Ukraine calls them, Israel calls them. No, they send billions of dollars over there. You know, but yet over here, Texas says, hey, there's a problem. They say, oh no, okay, we're gonna send jets and fight you. You see, to show you, they don't care about the American people. Facts that they are ran, they are uh, ran by. By the bankers to show you that the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, they run this place. Facts. And the the majority of you uh, hard-headed Americans that don't believe in it, you know, you just roll your eyes and say, oh, that it can't be true. Well, you're just going to have to roll with the punches because look what's happening already. You know, look at that. You see, you know, other countries ask for help and they send, Biden sends billions of dollars to their aid, you know, across seas. Okay, Texas asks for help and they said, what do they get? Okay, they, they get a civil war. Oh, you don't want to listen to us? Fine. Okay, uh, we'll send jets to you. See the difference? See? To show you, I mean, that. what more do you need to see to show you that they're not playing around, you know, that they're about to lock, you know, they're about to cut off you Americans, you know, and that your own leaders that these fellow Americans believe in, you know, those who are like, you know, not in the know, that you're being set up. Hey, you're being set up. I know it's a hard pill to swallow. You know, like, oh, no way, you know. It's true. You know, the Lord, the Lord. that's why the prophets are out there. It's, it's just to give you a warning. Remember, if you don't believe in it, you get mad. That's your choice. You're making that choice. But the facts are facts. You know, why would the prophets lie? You know, they already gave up all, they already gave, they already gave up their lives just to warn the righteous, you know. So it doesn't matter if people get mad, you know, they scoff. That don't matter because just because somebody don't believe doesn't mean that it's not going to happen because it's happening already. It's already happening. We're at the brink of civil war. See, Isaiah 19 and 3. The spirit of Egypt, America, shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols. Okay, because right now it's failing. So what happened right there with the world enough? World Economic Forum, um, WEF, the, you know, they're going for what? You know, they had their witches. They had a witch, you know, try to bless, you know, their new agenda, you know, to hope because that's what they're doing because they're seeking. We're going to continue and then I'll, I'll continue our reading and then I'll explain. They shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirit, familiar spirits and to the wizards to show you that the leaders of this uh, corporation, you know, country, it's not a country, but it's, it is a country to the majority of you out there because you don't even know what's going on. But it is a corporation because this place is ran by witches and warlocks. Facts. Okay, they are witches and warlocks 100%. Because are they going to God and saying, hey, God, please help us, you know? Like, dang, no, they're going to their wizards. Look at that one witch that was on there on World Economic Forum to show you. Okay, when they go to for help, who do they go to? They go to their witches and warlocks. They do sacrifices, baby sacrifices, you know? Yeah, to show you they're not with the Lord, you know? But a lot of you non-believers are going to find out the hard way. You know, the prophets are just giving you the facts. That's it, you know? And they're not, and they're not begging you, you know, to repent. That's up to you. That's your choice. They're just laying it down for you so you can make your decision. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 4. And the Egyptians, Americans, will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord, Yahweh Shai. Because once Yahweh Shai gets here, because Yahweh Shai is very stern, okay, he's going to be very mean uh, to the wicked. And a fierce king shall rule over them. See, a fierce king, that's Yahweh Shai, because he plays no games. He's a he's an austere man. That means he don't take no crap. You know, said the Lord, uh, Lord of hosts, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. See that because uh, after you know after all these events happen, you know civil war, martial law, World War Three, they make that chip mandatory. That's it. Yahweh Shai is gonna be here in the middle of World War Three, you know, which you can clearly see. You know, you can clearly see that right now happening because uh, now the UK is gonna have a draft, you know, because there are uh, problems with Russia. You see, and that's the, uh, that's Russia. You know that claw. You know because. The Lord is is working, is working through uh, the the Russian through Putin, you know, to get these things started. You know, 
And if, uh, you know, NATO is telling their people, get ready to have war with, with Russia, you know, that means that pretty much if UK is going to have the tra a draft and uh, NATO is going to, you know, soon have a draft, that's you Americans too, ladies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, because uh, America is a part of NATO, you know. America controls NATO, but they are a part of NATO. So once NATO starts to go, you know, full bloom at it with Russia, they're going to have a hard time because they can't take Russia down like that, you know. So they're going to, of course, they're going to need help. And who else are they going to, uh, who else are they going to uh, ask for help? America, of course, you know. So that draft is coming as well. You know, and then problems in the Middle East, you know, they're not stopping, you know, they're not stopping. So it's only going to escalate to show you that that draft will happen all right so that's why the uh, the seven the seven heads okay the beast that was uh, revelation 13 and 17 all right that uh this is show you that the ancient the ancient uh you know the beast the dragon okay the the dragon the ancient roman empire to show you that uh they never they never conquered russia okay they never conquered russia the, okay the the ancient Roman Empire, all right, they never conquered Russia. Facts. Why? Because they're tough. They're a tough fight, you know, to show you that, you know, NATO's going to have a hard time. You know, they're not just going to jump in there and, you know, we got this. No, they're going to they're going to need America's help, too, because, you know, with NATO, it's, you know, with, it's with one of them. It's with all of them. You know, it's kind of, you know how it is. You know, if, if, if you fight with one of them, you got to fight all of them. So that means America, too. See that? So that draft is, you know, America's next. You're right there. You know, that draft will happen sooner than you know it. So right here, uh, Revelation chapter six, verse eight. And I look and behold a pale horse and his name that sat on it on him was death. And how followed with him and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. So let's break this down. Revelation chapter 6 verse 8. And I looked and behold a pale horse. So that pale horse is talking about when, um, you know, these bankers, you know, these elites, they roll, they roll through, you know, with their uh, martial law. Okay, they bring in their uh, draconian laws. They uh, unleash the UN troops out here. Okay, and you're already seeing the beginning stages. Okay, because who do you think controls Biden? All right, and them, and those forces, okay? You know, the bankers, all right? Because they're, these pup, uh, these top, you know, rulers, people in office in Congress, they take orders from the bankers, okay? They, ha they have no care for the American people. Yeah, they may swear that, you know, that's when they swear on the Bible, you know? That's why the Lord says, what are you doing to declare my statues? You know, get your filthy hands off my book. You know, you're a Satanist. You believe in Baphomet. You don't believe in me. And then plus, in the book of St. Matthew, tells us not to take no oath, especially on the Bible, because these are not our words. These are the Lord's words. So you're not supposed to swear on nothing. You know, especially not take an oath. Not on this. Not on this book, because this is not our book. See? So that's to show you how ridiculous these devils are. When they swear, you know, they swear in on the Bible, to show that they're complete devils. It means that they're uh, deceivers. Because they're tricking you, they're tricking you to believe in a lie. You know, they, you, they make you seem like yeah, they're for you know they're for uh, the Lord, but they're not. They're for Satan. They're for bafflement. See, but that's what Satanists do. You know, that's that's all. That's their game. You know, that they're professional liars. You know, but the prophets see right through those clowns. Like man, you ain't. You know, they may they may trick the masses, but they ain't gonna trick the elect. The elect are looking right at them. The, the elect look right at him, you know, like, I see you clowns, you know, you ain't fooling anybody. His name that sat on him was death because, yeah, they're going to bring in these draconian laws, these legislatives, these uh, uh, executive orders, you know, look what they're about to do to Texas. Show you, you know, they're not playing, you know, our, man, they're not showing no mercy to their own people, to their own people. Meanwhile, they're over here sending jets to other countries you know, to help them, but yet yeah, they're, they're about to send jets to their own country to destroy them just because they have a little a border crisis, which is real, you know, it, it, it's a real problem, you know, I mean, yes, you know, it's, you know, I mean, of course, you know, 
people can come in, you know, I mean, you know, check them out, you know, people want to, uh, you know, live a, a better life. But what you don't understand is that America is about to be on lockdown. So people who are coming in, you're not going to be able to leave. Facts, because this is America is the main battlefield. This is going to be a complete war zone. Absolutely. If you're here, you're here for the fight, you know, or because you're a complete degenerate, you know, or you're uh, or you're part of the elect or you're here to be delivered. It's one or the other. And you, know, so you only got three options here. That's it. You know, unless you, you know, you, you think about Disneyland all day, you know, and you're a total degenerate or you're here for the fight or you're here to be delivered. Well, there's only three options. <clears throat> and how followed and how follow with him. See that because they're going to bring the ruckus. See that just to show you. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth. Yep, yeah, right. Because the Lord, the uh, Esau is the sword of the Lord on the left hand side. So the Lord is uh, giving the left hand side the green light to say, "Go for it," because they're executing judgment. You know, because they're they're going to be taking out the two thirds, the heathen and the Edomites. You know, because they're also going to be uh, what they're doing. They're also going to be executing judgment. Because uh, although, it, you know, it's not right, all these things that they're doing, you know, these things are set up for you wicked out there, you know, absolutely. To kill with the sword, because, yeah, they're bringing in their militias, their guillotines, the UN troops, whatever, you know, the drones, whatever. And with hunger, because, yeah, they're going to starve a lot of people out, a lot of people out. And with death, okay, so they got more pestilence coming your way, uh, even... Uh, Bill Gates told you that if the first one didn't get your attention, the second one will. Straight telling you, you know, that they're doing it and they're doing it to you. And that's why those of you that, like, yeah, we're still down with the New World Order. It's like, well, they're, that's cool. That's cute. But they're coming for you, too, you clown. You know, you can't see what's going on with you. You know, you got hit with the uh, with the with the pandemic, didn't you see? You see that? So it doesn't matter if you, uh, you two thirds are down with the NWO or not, because these top global elite bankers they're not down with you see that so you could be down you could be a fan of the nwo as much as you want you could be a diehard fan it don't matter you're out of there they're coming for you and your family too facts you know and if you don't believe well you're just gonna have to find out the hard way when a un troops at your doorstep dragging you out of your house facts and they can do that because they have new draconian laws and new uh legislatives ready for you degenerates facts they got torture camps ready for you unbelievers and that's hey you say oh that's not right well you don't believe so turn back you're deciding to go against the lord so you're gonna have to go into those camps you know if not turn back it's your choice and with the beast of the earth because there's gonna be a lot of um yeah there's gonna be a, a lot of uh things happening out here you know plus the you know the uh the left hand side they have all kinds of uh plans to do out here you know they have beasts that they're going to release that they're growing in these laboratories facts you know they got all kinds of stuff absolutely you know remember like that movie uh batman the latest one the newest one where uh remember the uh um remember uh what was it that one uh, that one bad guy remember how he set up the city how he blew up the buildings and all that well that's the left hand side they have everything all planned out you know turn people into zombies or whatever you know we're not going to go too far into detail but they got it you know they, they that's them like that movie uh i forgot if that dude was uh forgive me i forgot if that dude was the riddler or whoever that dude was you know that uh the, the latest batman you know the newest batman movie that just came out but i forgot who that uh who that villain was you know if, if he was the riddler something like that but um but yeah you know but that's just to show you remember how he had it all planned out in his apartment you know, remember the, the cities exploded, all the water flooded out, you know? He had all kinds of people look like him and stuff. That's the left-hand side. They have they have all kinds of plans, you know, and they have a green light from the Lord to do it, you know? So you don't think they're going to do it? Oh, they're going to do it. You know, they got all kinds of stuff. Look what that one man did in that movie, Batman. That's just one man. Now imagine the whole left-hand side that has the whole role in their hands. They have unlimited resources. Imagine what they're going to do. It's going to be on out here. You know, it's going to go down. Uh, Second Ezra chapter 13, verse 29 through 32. Behold, the days come 
when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. Because that's just a little balance in there to uh, comfort you righteous out there that yes, you know, the, uh, you know, you, uh, let me, it's like, let me brighten this up real quick. Let me see if I can get this here. Okay, cool. All right, so, um, here we go. So, yeah, because, uh, you know, it's not all doom and gloom. You know, the Lord will also deliver, you know, his elect. Just like in uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7, you know, the Lord says, you know, in Jacob's trouble, but you're still going to be delivered out of it, you know. We're still going to go through it, but if you're part of the hopeful elect, you know, uh, speaking for myself too, you know, because I hope, I don't, I'm not sure, you know. You know, because I don't consider myself worthy, but I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping for mercy. I'm fighting for salvation, you know, facts. Um, also, Jer uh, Daniel chapter 12, verse 1, saying it's going to be a terrible time, worse. It's going to be the worst time the planet Earth has ever seen, has ever experienced. But at the end, he says, but you're still going to be saved out of it. Just to show you, the Lord comforts you. He said, out of all this madness that's coming, the Lord says, I'm with, uh, I'm with my elect, you know. Second Ezra is chapter 13, verse 30. And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And one shall undertake to fight against another, because that's what's going to happen. Okay, there's going to be a lot of betrayals. You know, uh, one city against another, okay, civil war. One place against another, uh, World War III. Uh, one people against another, because uh, there's also going to be race wars. You know, that's coming back. You know, because, uh, you know, the KKK... You know, like the super racist, you know, uh, so-called white man, like the real Edomites, they're still out there, you know, and they're going to, but now they got technology. Now they got AI. So they're really going to bring it to you Israelites. You know, what they did to us, like remember the uh, 1700s, the 1800s, how they're hanging us on trees and burning us. That's nothing compared to what they're about to do out here. You know, they're literally about to lay you down. You know, they got camps ready for you to torture you. You know, they got all kinds of stuff, you know. But that's for you two thirds and one realm against another because, yeah, uh, Esau and his forces, the left hand side, they're going to fight against uh, the Lord. OK, the 144,000 the angels, you know, and they're going to get beat down. Facts, but they are going to fight. You know, that's one realm against another because the Lord's coming from a whole nother realm. Facts. See that? So back uh, back on top. Uh, this verse, Second Ezra chapter 13, verse 31, and one shall undertake to fight against another because, um, remember when the first pandemic happened, how people, remember how people like, you know, they, they avoid each other, how people were looking at each other like all weird, kind of like sideways, you know, when, uh, like, let's say you're walking your dog around the block and you came up to another person, you didn't know if they had it or not, you know, it's so, like, you know, you would like walk across the street, remember how scared people were of each other? Okay, because that's how it's going to be in these times, because that's how scarce it's going to be, because look at how uh, look at how the people acted when there was a pandemic, you know, because people were afraid for what their lives, you know, which is reasonable. Yeah, you know, but just imagine. But there was food still. There was coffee. You know, the, you guys still had work. Some people lost their jobs, but there was still power. You know, you still had you still had things. Everything was still civilized, you know. But we're, we're entering a time right now when there's not going to be, that there's, the power's going to be shut off. Your communication, your internet, no more food, you know? No more food in these grocery stores. That's it. You know, it's going to get very cutthroat. You know how members, certain family members, they wouldn't, uh, they didn't want to uh, let each other visit each other, you know? You know, only like their, you know, their small, like their small group. Because every family has like, you know, like their favorites, you know, like, okay, well, I'm only going to let... My certain aunt, my certain cousin, just us, you know, everybody else will kind of see you later, you know. So that's how it's going to be because everyone's going to kind of stick to themselves, you know. You might have a couple small groups like, okay, we're going to stay together, but that's it. Everybody else is going to be very cutthroat because remember, there's going to be troops on the ground, okay. So just imagine when there was that pandemic, how people were scared. Well, now you're going to have concentration camps. People say, and they already got that law going on in New York to show you that. They could come in and take away your your uh, your children. They could take away you. You don't even have to be sick. They can just take you without a cause. And they don't have to go to court. They don't need no warrant. They could just come and just take you to show you we're already here at that time. So it's going to get very cutthroat because people are going to be afraid for their lives because there's going to be troops out here taking away families, separating your children, 
oh yeah, it's gonna get very real out here. And then remember that there's not gonna be no power, no food, you know? So people, of course, people are gonna turn in brother against brother, father against son, uh, mother against daughter, daughter against mother, you know, cousin versus cousin. Because people are gonna be like, nah, you know? Like people are gonna turn in their own families. You know, not saying because some of you, yes, you know, some of you will stay together, you know, you know, to the end. But that's very few. But the majority, they are. People are even going to sell each other out. They are going to turn each other in to those guillotines, to the state troops. It's going to get that real out here. Facts. You know, Second Ezra chapter 13, verse 32. And at that time shall... And at that time shall be when these things shall come to pass and the sign shall happen, which I showed thee before. And then shall my son be declared. So the Lord, Yahweh, the most high is telling you who's going to send down here, his son, Yahweh Shai. See, so when everything, you know, is in full bloom and uh, you got a uh, World War Three going, that's what uh, that's what's going to happen. OK, he's going to have uh, Yahweh Shai get here. All right. In the. Uh, yeah, how wish I get here in the middle of World War III, which is right around the corner, whom thou sawest as a men ascending. Because the Lord, Yahweh, the Most High, is letting us know who he's going to send down here, his son, Yahweh Shai. 2 Ezra chapter 16, verse 18 through 23. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. You hear that? The beginning of famine, no food, no water, no snacks, no coffee, and great death. So you're going to see bodies are going to hit, you know? Remember that song, Let the Bodies Hit the Floor? So the Lord's saying, Let the Bodies Hit the Floor. It's time. The beginning of wars. That's what you're seeing right now. These proxy wars, you know, U.S. is going at it with, uh, you know, uh, with these uh, these other countries, you know? Uh, Israel's going at it. You see uh, 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 Russia and Ukraine. Okay, now NATO's getting ready to go against Russia. Okay, it's just amping up. The beginning of wars. And the power shall stand in fear because the elites are seeing like, man, it's, it's going down, you know? People are people who are really paying attention are like, man, things are happening. You know, it's very real. There's things happening all over, you know? What do you want to talk about, you know? Division, you know, uh, people are being disrespectful. You know, it's a cold spirit out there. You know, people are stealing one another. People are sleeping with each other's husbands, each other's wives. You know, you got sleeper cells coming through the border. You got... America at a brink of a civil war. You still got pestilence out there, you know. Uh, world War Three about to happen, you know. It's come on, you know. You got the left hand side about to roll out. Okay, it's it's nonstop. You got the 144 about to activate, huh? You got apparitions showing themselves in Florida. Okay, you got the ships, the so-called UFOs. This, this place is gonna be action packed, huh? The beginning of evils. Evils means bad times. And what shall I do when these evils shall come? So Ezra was telling the Lord, man, you know, damn, like, because Ezra saw this. He's like, man, how am I going to make it, you know? Verse 19, behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent for scourges for amendment. So all these things the Lord is bringing for you wicked doers out there. But for all these things, they shall not turn from the wickedness because you can clearly see all these things are coming down the pike. But you wicked doers out there are like, nah, I'm still going to do me. I'm still going to be a witch. I'm still going to be a warlock. Okay, I'm still going to be a degenerate. I'm still not. I'm still going to hate the Lord. I'm still going to eat pork. I'm still going to eat shrimp. You know, I don't care. I'm going to do it my way. Well, I'll go for it. But the Lord says, well, these things are coming for you, you know, and they will. Nor be always mindful of the scourges because, yeah, although all these things are happening right now, you know, the... Uh, yeah, all the, although all these things are happening, you know, uh, you know they're still they're still not turning back. They're still like, oh, whatever, you know. Second uh, Ezra chapter sixteen verse twenty one: Behold, victual shall be so good, cheap upon the earth. That means like your best your basic essentials, you know, groceries, you know, taking uh, the kids, the children to school. You know, you can go on vacation. You can still kind of get things at a reasonable price that they shall think themselves to be in a good case, right? Okay, key word, think, because they think. These non-believers, because they think, oh, we're going to be all right, you know? You know, everything always works itself out. It always does. It's going to be fine. It's not going to be fine, because the Lord's telling us, like, this is it. You know, the Satan just know, uh, you know, oh, uh, you know, uh, doomsday, and, you know, this is, uh, you know, what, what do they say? Uh, 
what's that word? Salakia. Can't come with me right now. What do they say? Oh, conspiracy? Oh, it's a conspiracy. And yeah, these, you know, that's crazy talk. No, it, it's going down. You know, it's right here at doorstep. It's already here. You know? So that's why people who deny it, they're, they're retarded. That's why the Lord says the wicked are literally retarded. You just got to let them be. Because all these signs are right here and they still have their keep. And they had their feet kicked up right now on the couch like, no, nah, life is good. You know, ain't nothing going to happen. You know, we're good, babe. We're good, honey. No, you're not good, sucker. You know, you're about to be slaughtered. Facts. Facts. You know, that's why the Lord says, don't even worry about the wicked. Don't be upset. You know, I got them surrounded. They're about to be slaughtered out here. Facts. Okay. That's why the Lord tells you, righteous, don't worry about the wicked. I got them. Okay. Don't worry about them. Just be Stay in the spirit. The Lord says, I got the rest. The wicked, they're in my scope. Don't worry about it. You know, I'm the master chess player here. Facts. And and even and even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Because evils uh, evils mean bad times are growing upon the earth. It's getting, it's getting worse and worse. Sword, because, uh, you know, wars, martial law, civil war, okay? Guillotines, concentration camps famine because they're going to starve a lot of people out not just in america that's worldwide because it's an nwo and great confusion because people who are not in the know who are not paying attention they're going to be like what the heck is going on like that one woman in bushwick you know remember in the beginning you know because she didn't know what was going on you know when they killed her uh, her boyfriend or her husband in the beginning when they came out of that subway remember that and then she tried to run to the troop but the troop the troops out there the militia she went to them like, oh, soldiers, you know, help me, you know. But not, and then they were killing people to show you that the soldiers that are going to be out here are going to be killing people, are going to be killing people, you know. So a lot of people, they're not going to know, like, so, well, where do we go? You know, what the heck is going on? So that's why it's going to be great confusion because those of you who are not paying attention, they're going to be confused. Like, well, you know, help's got to come. You know, where's FEMA at? Yeah, FEMA's coming, but they're coming to, to chop your head off. They're coming to put you in a torture camp. See that? You know, because a lot of these Jakes are going to run right to Esau. You know, they're going to run. They're going to run right to a saw room. You know, facts. Absolutely. So there's great confusion. Second Ezra chapter sixteen verse twenty-two. For oh, here we go. Very important. Second Ezra chapter sixteen verse twenty-two. For many of them that dwell on upon the earth, so a lot of people who live on the earth right now shall perish of famine. So the Lord's telling you that a lot of people are going to die of starvation because they are going to cut off the food, okay, the water, because this is not like the ancient world where a lot of people, because there's some people out there, yes, who have their own animals and stuff like that, but the majority of people rely on the system, okay? How many people right now, if they shut it down tonight, can survive, you know? How many of you uh, grow your own food and stuff like that? No, nah, you know? A lot of you guys, you have to go to the store for everything, and that includes me myself too, you know? You know, we're like, we're just talking out here like, oh, yeah, we got it. No, because we're, that's why we're hoping because we don't got nothing either. You know, we're, we're barely surviving out of here too, you know, week by week, day by day. See, so if they shut it down, I mean, shoot, if we're not covered by the Lord, we're through. That's why we're hoping because we don't got it like that, you know, but we're hoping, but we're still in the front lines no matter what. See, to give the righteous the warning uh, to our last breath. Absolutely. And the other that escaped the hunger, so those of you who, who do escape famine, shall the sword destroy these troops, UN troops, these wars, uh, your neighbors, you know, because there's going to be teams out there because, you know, people who do have it, they're going to have to protect it. People who don't have it, they're going to go get it, you know, facts. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 23, and the dead shall be cast out as dung. Dung is like, uh, you know, when a, a dog goes to the restroom and it's not like potty train, you know, all over like your backyard. That's how these bodies are going to be laid out out here, you know, like just everywhere because there's going to be no more 911, no more EMS, no more firefighters. That's facts. Okay, not saying that, you know, that they're weak individuals. They're very strong, you know. They do a, a very good service, but it's just that they're going to be home protecting their families. So they're not going to go to work because that's how bad how much death, destruction, and war is going to be going on out here in these streets. You see? Facts. And plus, these economies about to fail. So why are people going to go to work if they're not getting paid? Facts. You know, so there's not going to be time to uh, get people a proper burial. You know? 
Remember like that movie again, Bushwick in the beginning. If she stood there just crying over her husband or her boyfriend, a militia would have caught up to her within five minutes. So people are going to have to keep on moving. You know, you're not going to be able to give your, your loved ones, your friends, your neighbors a proper burial. You have to keep on moving because it's going to be all out war out here. It's going to be a complete war zone out here because you got everybody here at the same time. You know, you got the right hand side here. You got the left hand side. You got uh, the, Ch the Chinese here, Japanese here, the Russians here, sleeper cells here. You got teams here. You got everybody here at the same time. You know, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a complete war zone out here. It's going to be a complete bloodbath. For the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down. See that? Because it's going to be complete wasteland out here. Second Ezra, we're going to go to the 15th chapter now. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1 through 6. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Prophecy, pro means before, fashe means to tell. Because the prophets are telling you what's going to happen before it happens. Which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. Because the prophets are the Lord's mouthpiece. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So what the Lord's telling us what's going to happen, is going to happen. Fear not the imaginations, we're in verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. So the Lord's saying, fear not. Okay, the imagination. So the, the wicked who like talk crap about us, who uh, talk crap about the righteous, don't worry about them. The Lord's saying, don't worry, because they're imagining, you know, stuff like, yeah, you know, can't wait to roll on them. The Lord's saying, don't worry about these clowns. I got them. Because the hunters are going to be the hunted. All right, facts. You know, the Lord is the ultimate chess player and the Lord's a man of war. You know, just imagine like uh, Esau's special forces. Now imagine the Lord's special forces. Okay, it's unthinkable, you know. So the hunters are going to be hunted. Facts, you know. Absolutely. Let let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Incredulity means non-belief. So don't let them trouble you just because they say, oh, the Lord's, uh, the Lord's not real. Or just because they say all these things are not going to happen, don't mean that they're not going to happen. Remember, stick to the Lord. Lean not unto thy own understanding. The Lord is saying it's going to happen. Trust in the Lord. Stop trying to get accepted by men and women. Okay? You know? Because they're going to lead you to your death. All right? Unless they're speaking on one accord, according to this doctrine, you know? But that's why the Lord is saying, you know, uh, every man is a liar, you know, because if you're if you're believing in these uh, people who don't believe in the Lord, that's the way to death. And that speak against thee. So that's what the Lord's saying. All right. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 4. For all the unfaithful. Okay, listen up. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. See that? So you know, that's plain to the point. Don't even have to break that down. So those who don't believe, they're already dead. They're already on death row. You know, they can say whatever they want. They can say, oh, that's not right. Whatever. Oh, I hate God or this and that or well, whatever. Let's speak it, you know, talk to the big man. It is, it's his program. Partner, you know, you can complain, throw a tantrum all you want. But the Lord says, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So those who don't believe, they're already condemned. You can't do nothing for them. You know, we can tell them the word. If they, if they return back, beautiful, you know. But if not, what can we do? If they're deciding to be hard-headed, that's on them. And the Lord already told you what's going to happen to them. They're going to die in their unfaithfulness. Facts. Second Ezra chapter 15 verse 5. Behold said the Lord. I, because the Lord, he's bringing it. I will bring plagues upon the world. So the Lord's causing all this stuff. The Lord's the, the Lord, is the true DJ. Okay, he's stirring up everything. He's stirring up the whole world because he's a man of war. Look what's happening around the world. That's because Yahweh Shai is coming. To show you our Lord is a man of war. Okay, is everyone all peaceful? Is everybody repenting? You know, getting ready. Oh, hey, the Lord's coming back. Are these leaders around the world telling you guys, hey, uh, you know, fast, you know, uh, make the adjustments, get ready because the Lord's coming? No, all you hear is war, is more war. Because that's what the Lord wants, is complete war. Because in the middle of World War III, then the Lord's going to say, okay, now, I can, now I'm going to come down there. I'm going to fight everybody. I'm going to destroy everybody at the same time. And yes, Yahweh Shai can do that. He's that amazing. Because he's the king of kings and lord of lords. Our Lord, is he loves to fight so much. You guys, <laughs> our Lord, Yahweh Shai, I'm telling you. Our Lord, Yahweh Shai, he loves to fight so much that he's going to wait to World War III 
because he's gathering these nations right now. Look what's happening. He's going to have the whole world fight each other. And then in the middle of it, in the thick of it, then the Lord's going to say, okay, now I'm going to come and jump right in the middle. Okay, and I'm going to fight everybody, you know, and I'm going to destroy everybody because that's how much the Lord loves to fight. He loves war. Exodus 15 and 3, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is a man of war. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is his name. You know, just think of like the ultimate warrior out there, like the ultimate soldier, the ultimate special force dude out there. There's nothing compared to our Lord. All right, because yeah, there is some bad man pajamas out there, you know. Yeah, I'll give you that. But hey, our Lord, he's a top, top warrior. Okay, he de he defeated Satan. And that's real. Forget these Satanists on the left-hand side. They're a bunch of clowns. Let them say whatever they want. You know, oh, the Lord lost. Whatever. They don't know, they don't know crap. Okay, the Lord is a man of war. He's an ultimate, ultimate warrior. And the whole world is going to find that out. Because the Lord says he's going to come in the middle of World War III. And he's going to just jump right in the middle. You know? Just to show you what type of what type of man our Lord, what type of man our Lord is. Okay, he's going to wait to the thick of it. He's not going to wait till it dies down. No, he's going to wait till when the fire is at its peak. You know, then he's going to come in like, okay, yeah, that's more like it. You know? Heck yeah. The, the Lord's going to have the angels play his jam. And the Lord's going to go to work. You know? Everyone who's been talking crap, the Lord's going to see them in that day. You know? We're going to see because they... Everybody who wants to fight the Lord, you're gonna have your chance, hombre. You're gonna, all you guys are gonna have your chance in that day, and you're all gonna get beat down by Yahweh Shai. Facts, and we're gonna see it too. You know, you Akim Akwath, we're gonna see it. We're gonna see our Lord. Remember, only with thy eyes shall ye see the reward of the wicked. So we're gonna see the Lord beat these dudes down. You know, worldwide, the Lord's gonna beat them all down. You know, that's why they hate them, you know, because they can't beat them. You know, they can say whatever they want. Just, you know, they're just words. You know, the majority of people out here are just actors anyways. This place is full of homosexuals and lesbians. This place is weak. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. See that? Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 6. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Right there, because this place is polluted with what? Wickedness. And their hurtful works are fulfilled because the sins here have reached the throne. And Yahweh said, that's enough, you know, and it's, it's judgment time. So now we're going to jump down to the 14th verse. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 14 through 19. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. So Ezra saying, woe being destruction because he saw all this happening. You know, he's like, man, woe was me. You know, dang, I woe to the world because... As you're saying, man, this whole world's about to be on fire, you know? It's about to go down. Like, look at all the stuff that's going to happen worldwide. Famines, World War III, people fighting against each other, families turning in each other, people getting their heads chopped off in guillotines. You know, it's, it's about to go down. People going to concentration camps. It's going to be crazy. Apparitions showing them, themselves. Animals coming out of their place, attacking people. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be action-packed out here. Men of the Lord receiving spiritual power, flying out here. Manipulating the elements, huh? Controlling lightning and fire, water, you know? Turning people into ice like Zub Zero. Oh, you're about to see that, you know? You're about to see that. Remember, the right hand side is much stronger than the left. The left, they have carnal power, they have AI, robots. The right hand side, they have spiritual power, you know, control fire, lightning, uh, you know? Uh, humans, you guys are made up of uh, elements. So they can just, you know, break your break your bones, control your thoughts. Oh, yeah. You know, spiritual power is much greater than carnal power. You know, because they can go inside your mind, really jack you up. Just, you know, just destroy your organs inside. Just crack your spine. You know, they can just uh, control, you know, your blood. Make your blood stop flowing. You know, there's all kinds of things that can happen. Remember like Magneto? That movie X-Men, how he, he got the metal out of that one security guard. Yeah. You know, real talk. And the 144,000 are going to be doing that to you wicked out here. You know, so. Yeah, there's a lot of things the world's going to see. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 15. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. And swords in their hands. Because people are going to fight against one another. It's going to get real malicious out here. To get real medieval out here. 
Second Ezra chapter 15 verse 16 For there shall be sedition among men And invading one another And they shall not regard their kings nor their princes Because that's what's happening right now Because people are saying Oh forget Biden That's why Texas is saying Well we're going to hold our own Because you know we're not cool with what Biden's saying Because a lot of people remember They're, they're not going to be down with the new world order That's why you have There's going to be a great civil war here in America And you're already seeing it now because they're not going to regard their governors, their city councils, because they're going to say, well, do this and do that. You know, it doesn't say right here exactly, but there's something that, you know, they're going to be doing. Probably tell you, hey, stay in your home, you know, while their people are, are taking your children to FEMA camps and all that, chopping off their heads. It's going to get that crucial out here. And yes, you know, uh, grandpa, children, you know, they're not they're not exempt. They're going to be chopping everybody's head off who go in those get, who go to those camps. You know, they're not going to show you no mercy. No, nah, you know. From old to, to young, you know, it's going to go down out here. So that's why people, they're not going to regard their princes. And that's what's happening now. Because Texas is like, no, we're not even listening to Biden. You know, we'll fight. We'll fight you if we have to. See, because they're not regarding their kings. They're not regarding. It's, you already see it. We're living this prophecy already. It's happening. And it's about to get much worse. You know, because once they actually start killing people, you know, when you know people are definitely going to be like, oh, well, how would, the, you know, some people are going to be like, well, how would the government and then. Some people might say, well, the government's right. So it's going to be a big civil war because some people are going to say, well, let's listen to them. Other people are going to say, well, let's not. You know, look what's happening. See, because it's, it's going to go down because once they actually start killing people, you know, separating your families, it's going to get real. You know, that's it. You know, it's hey, ain't no more talking. You know, it's pick a side, you know, and survival to the finish. See, and the course of their actions shall stand their power because people are going to take matters in their own hands. All right, like Texas, they're ready, you know, but look at Biden. He's ready to send judge to fight him. And Texas is like, well, we'll just fight. See, so that's what's happening because they're going to take actions there and the course of their actions shall stand in their power because they're going to say, well, we're going to fight, you know, forget this NWO. Yeah. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That is martial law, ladies and gentlemen. Because once they start doing that, you know, civil war breaks out, anarchy, that's it. You know, they're going to cut off communication, internet, your food supply. That's why they have so much uh, crisis through the border. Because not only are there sleeper cells coming in through that, because it's order out of chaos. You know, they let so many people in, you know, and then once all this stuff starts happening, well, then they're going to blame them and say, well, we got to take America back, you know. Facts. And then they, they're going to have every reason to bring troops on the ground because they say well it's anarchy out here we, we gotta take our country back but they're setting it up see remember that you know so this is another reason why these uh right now they're just letting the floodgates of these uh borders open because they're they're allowing the chaos you know because you can't let so not too many people in at the same time you know i mean because they're just letting everybody in because it's uh it's gonna be order out of chaos out here you know because and then once they shut off uh cut off the food supply of course, people are going to be up warm because that's more mouths you got to feed, right? So that's just more easier for them to uh, riot and up war. But then that gives them a reason to bring the troops on the ground, the UN troops, you know, and say, well, we got to shut it down. You know, we got to bring in the guillotines, concentration camps because it's out of control. But you're the ones allow they're the ones allowing it. You know, they're setting up their own chaos or out of chaos. Facts. You know, but there are also sleeper cells in there that are coming in. See, Second Ezra chapter fifteen verse eighteen, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed because people are gonna go house to house, you know. Because remember, those people who do have it, you're gonna have to protect it. You better have one hell of a team, you know, or something or ammo because, you know. And if you do have it, you better be, you know, stealth, you know, because if you have power, if you have food. You better not let anybody know because if somebody finds out, you know, they're going to take you, your family, and they'll even eat you like the movie The Road. That's how it's going to be because uh, and men shall be afraid men because that's how bad it's going to be because uh, there's going to be so much of a lack of food out here that people are going to become food just like that movie The Road. I right? remember they, they had uh, all those people in that basement because that's how short that's how much of a lack of bread is going to be out here. Facts, because they are, they're going to shut everything off. Not, nothing's going to come in no more. Nothing in, nothing out. You know? Facts. 
Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Right, because they're going to say, well, I'm sorry, Stephen. You know, I'm sorry, uh, Jennifer. I'm sorry, uh, Jessica. I'm sorry, uh, Chris. You know, but I need that, you know. I'm sorry, but I got to feed my I got to feed my family, so I'm going to have to take yours, you know? Yeah, people are going to have to fight for their lives out here. It's going to get that bad, you know? I mean, it's not just, okay, oh, I fought. I fought. I had that one little fight. That's it. No, you're going to have to keep on fighting because you're not the only one who's hungry. You know, you're going to have people behind you who want to take you out. You know, it's just survival to the finish. It's not just, oh, I just got to fight my neighbor. That's it. No. Uh-uh. No, this, this thing is, is going to be the whole country, the whole city. It's going to be going down out here. But shall destroy their houses with the sword, the gun, you know, or whatever they have, machete, sword, whatever, and spoil their goods, take what they have, you know, their families, them, their food, their guns, whatever, medicine, medicine, whatever, because of the lack of bread, because they're going to cut everything off and for great tribulation. See that? Because that's that's what they're going to do, you know, because they're going to cut everything off. So why would people have to, uh, why would people have to do that? If, if they had food and stuff, you know, out here. I'm just going to show you guys some uh, some pictures that I had ready for you guys. Let me go through them real quickly. So right here, just showing you that, uh, look at the U.S. is on the brink of civil war. 25 states have activated the Constitution and deployed National Guard, preparing to fight with Biden forces. So that's the group I was uh, trying to say, the National Guard, because America is divided against each other. All right, facts. All right, uh, right here, all right, that's uh, uh, Biden once again showing you that, yeah, you know, he's ready. He's ready to war against Texas with F-15 fighter jets. To show you, look at that. Look how fast he's ready to jump to fight against his own American people. You know, just because of a border crisis, I mean, why can't they just talk talk it out, you know? But he's re he's ready to send fighter jets, but yet this clown Biden is, is sending uh, jets to other countries, you know, helping them, you know? And, uh, you know, sending billions of dollars. But yet when, when uh, you know, our own people, you know, American citizens are telling them about that. Look what, look what his response is to uh, you fellow American people out there. He's ready to bomb you. He's ready to send fighter jets. Fighter jets to Texas? I mean, damn. You know? I mean, they can't have a meeting or something. But to show you that these leaders are not for you American people. Okay? They are controlled by the bankers. And they are ready to take you Americans out. They sold you out. It's facts. You know, they're coming for you. You know, those of you that are, who are not covered by the Lord, man, you know, they have you guys surrounded. You know, they have all kinds of plans uh, for you Americans, you know. And if you guys, that's why those who don't fight back, they're going to be slaughtered. Uh, this is just a picture of showing, like, what's going to happen to these shelves. You know, famine, you know, this is really coming. This is really coming, you know. Just imagine you can't feed your family. You know, you can't even go outside because there's martial law troops and they're telling you to stay inside. Like, well, I can't run out of food. What else can I do? And they're telling you, well, just stay inside. It's going to get real. People are going to go on the hunt. Oh, this is the first American war that happened, you know, in the uh, 1860s. All right. So that happened between uh, um, Abraham Lincoln and Jefferson Davis. So we're entering the second civil war, you know, two uh, same similarities, okay, because you got people that are for Trump, you got people that are with Biden, you know, because you got people who are, are with the newer order, and you got people who are against the newer order, you see, so that's why it's going to be a great civil war here in America, this is just to show you the history of the first uh, American war, United States Civil War that happened in the 1860s, all right, you know, happened right here, you know, between uh, Jefferson Davis and Abraham Lincoln, you know, two different sides, you know, the North and the South, you know, the Union versus the uh, Confederate. See? Oh, and then here's just some, some photo to show you how these cities are going to be. They're going to be ransacked. You know, they're going to be ransacked because, remember, America is not like these third world countries. Everybody here is packing. And you got, you know, you got, um, you got ex-military uh, here. You know, you got veterans here who are ready, you know, who you don't think people are prepping. Heck yeah, they are, you know? So it's going to be a real fight because, I mean, because Americans are about that life, you know? And you got, you know, every 95% of Americans are packing, you know, whether they know how to shoot or not, they got it. Even going down to these mafias, to these little gangs, 
and all these little, even these teenagers have guns out here, you know, it's going to be crazy. You know, I mean, yeah, they can't, you know, they, they're no competition to go against like special forces, but if the bullet hits you in the right spot, that's it. You know, just to show you, it's going to get that bad out here where these cities are going to be ransacked just like this. Because remember, you got CIA out here, FBI, you got KGB, you got Russians here, Chinese here, you got Arabs here. Okay, you got Iranians here, you got sleeper cells here. You got, of course, American uh, military here. They're ready to defend, you know, their motherland. You know, it's everybody here at the same time. You know, you got the left hand side that's about to roll. Okay, these these cities are going to be jam packed. And this is what they're going to make, uh, you know, uh, mandatory, you know, in all this crisis, you know, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, right there. All right. The Lord says that's the MOTB, you know, do not take that. It's the last draw. Okay. And they're going to be putting people in that, you know, a guillotine if you don't take this. All right. They're going to, when they got those camps, they got those camps ready for you, uh, ready for you Americans, you know, and uh, if you don't take that. Uh, that's what they're going to be putting people in that. Facts. That's Revelation chapter 20 and 4 that reads about this. You know, and they got them ready. You know, you better believe it. And they got a lot more uh, torturing devices. It's not just that one. That's just one of the major ones that they're going that they're gonna have. But they have a lot, you know, a lot more. You know, they're the left-hand side. You know, that's what they do. You know, it's, they got a lot ready. They got a lot of stuff ready for uh, people who are who want to go against the NWO. Facts. You know, so with that, repent for the kingdom of heaven's at hand on your feet, soldier. You know, uh, be, vigilant, be vigilant, meaning uh, be watchful, you know, uh, you know, use wisdom, be spiritual at all costs. You know, if you have to get physical, you know, protect yourself, then yeah, by, by any means. But just don't go out there looking for trouble because, you know, the Lord says be, uh, it's a spiritual thing. You know, the Lord, the Lord's going to take down our enemies. All right. So, uh, you know. Uh, pray fast, you know, repent, and on your feet, soldier. Shalom.